The lightning targeting pod is key to winning many air to ground engagements, like this one, and this, and also this. Get comfy in your chair and follow along as we'll uncover this amazing device. Let's go! So we're of course starting with the control setup and let's make it quick. First, you need to be able to select the pod to manipulate it. That's done through the display management switch or DMS with a downwards press. This is best bound to a four-way hat switch. While we're here, you can bind all four directions but the one we mostly need right now is just the down. Next up, you need to be able to slew the TGP around and that's done through the RDR cursor switch. You can bind this to a four-way hat but the even better option would be to go to axis command in this drop down and bind it to a thumbstick if you have one. Y for up and down and X for left and right. If you do it with a thumbstick and you find the slew too fast to handle, right click on the selected axis, go to tune combo axis and lower the saturation Y. I have it set to 55 but your mileage may vary. You may need to do this for both the X and Y axes. Moving on to the zoom function. Search for expand slash FOV button and bind it to a simple push button. In addition, search for man RNG knob. CW clockwise zooms in and CCW counterclockwise zooms out. I have it bound to a two-way hat where I push to zoom in and pull to zoom out. So you can do something like that or if you have a rotary axis you can go to axis commands in the drop down find man RNG knob and bind it to that rotary switch. Finally, search for target management switch or TMS. This is best bound to a four-way hat switch. We'll go over what each direction does in a bit. Wow, was that a lot of buttons. All right, let's put them into some good use. So, to get the TGP on your F-16's MFDs, you need to go into the TGP screen. If it's not already assigned to anything, just feel free to switch it with anything, uh, whichever you feel is fit, and go right here to TGP. Now, why is it off? The reason for that is that we need to flick this switch right here, kinda hard to see, right hard point on, and this will give power to TGP, and in roughly two minutes, this will be on. And after two minutes, here it is. So, we can't see much, or really anything, and the reason for that is I didn't start it up properly. If you remember to start it up during your startup procedure and flick that same right hardpoint switch right here, this shouldn't happen, but if you do get to this situation, simply press on standby right here and go to earth ground. Now we can see something. Right, um, before we go into the HOTAS buttons, let's go over all the functions we see around this MPD. Starting off, the first button is simply the mode you're in, which is air to ground as we just selected. Next up is man and auto. We're not gonna go over this because it's related to a specific weapon and we're gonna discover that in a future F-16 weapons masterclass video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Next up is the wide and narrow switch, which is gonna basically zoom in. So if I just quickly, let's look at the ground, look at this area, if I press on the wide, it's gonna zoom in and switch to narrow, again, it will go back to wide. Next up, override is simply gonna put it into the standby mode until you press again on override and it will not go to where it was, it will uh, simply bore sight to uh, be straight in front of you. Control isn't functional in DCS. And now an important one is EV or more realistically this is the polarity switch. So if I press it, it will switch to white hot. So basically anything that's hot is in white or again black hot. Anything that is hot is in black. And back to TV. Uh, realistically during the night you're not gonna see anything in TV so you're only gonna use uh, white hot and black hot. Uh, during daytime you can switch between the two uh, or the three uh, for whatever fits that sim uh, situation. Next up NT uh, doesn't do anything uh, as far as I know and import very important CZ or center zero is gonna bring you back to your SP. What is a SP? Sensor point of interest. A SP or sensor point of interest is a point where all your sensors are focused on. It can be a weapon, it can be your radar, it can be your targeting pod, or really any kind of sensor. 
that we use here in DCS. It's the point that all of them focus on and refer or use as reference, right? Uh, the F-16 usually uh, uses its waypoints. So if I, uh, if I switch to different waypoints, that's the SPI and this is basically the starting point. So that's what CZ does. It brings you back to your SPI, which is usually your waypoint. And this next button we're gonna skip for now and visit in a minute. You might have seen that after I pressed the center zero button, another button popped up called SP, which is snow plow, which is basically just looking in front of you and slightly down. If I unpause this, you can see that it keeps moving with me and it's not centered on the ground. If I ground stabilize it, I keep moving forward, but it does not. Again, it only shows up after uh, the CZ. If you move it after the CZ, it uh, disappears. Next up on the left is AGC, or if I press on it, MGC. This is basically just uh, the automatic gain control or manual gain control. Doesn't affect the, affect the TV mode, but if you go to white hot, for example, and let's zoom in again with the wide, as I change it, you can see that it uh, slightly changes the gain uh, of the image and sometimes if it's hard to see something you can play with that along with the uh, contrast and the brightness of the MFD. You need to use all of those three uh, together to get the best image uh, for of your target. And finally the grayscale doesn't do much in DCS so we can just ignore it but it's here. So let's start using the HOTAS shortcuts that we worked so hard on setting up. First one would be the MFD select switch, which is DMS or data management switch downwards. What it does, it cycles between the left and right MFD as the soy or sensor of interest. So what I need to do is press this data management switch downwards until not soy disappears from the right MFD or the TG TGP and it becomes surrounded by a white box. You can see that right now the left one is surrounded by this white box and not soy is not showing up. So it means it is my currently selected uh, screen. So what I'll do is just press that data management switch downwards once not soy disappeared from my TGP and it is surrounded by this white box. Next, uh, we need to zoom in a bit because we can't see much. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is go into the narrow view and instead of pressing this button right here, we'll just press the expand slash FOB button on the HOTAS and this switch to narrow. So now we're in narrow, but we still can't really see much. So we'll zoom in even further using the manual range knob clockwise. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, nice. All right, so now we have, we can see that we have this plane here, but it's not very uh, visible. And in this scenario, uh, I would change the polarity and try to get a better image. Again, I can press this button here, but instead we have target management switch to the left or TMS. And this will cycle between TV, white hot and black hot. Personally, I think, uh, yeah, definitely white hot and black hot. Uh, work better. It's really up to you. Uh, I will stick with Blackout right now. Finally, to actually set this as a target, we, you need to press Target Management Switch or TMS right. And this will put you into Area Track Mode. What Area Track Mode it does is just lock on to the current coordinates you're aiming at and set it as a SP, which is sensor point of interest or simply just your target point. All right, cool. Let's move on to some more functions. So, Let's say I slew around a lot and I kind of lost awareness of where I am. You could press the CZ button on the MFD to go back to the initial steer point, or you can press on target management switch down twice and it'll do the exact same thing. And here I am back to where I started. And now let's use some really cool feature of the F-16 targeting pod, which is offset aim points. What it does essentially is it lets me store up to three targets in one steer point. Let's see how it works. So I have these three jets in front of me. What I first need to do is just spear one of them. So I'll aim it at, at it and press the target management switch right to go into area track and set it as SP. And next I'll press on this STP button, bottom right of the MFD. And now we're in OA1 offset aim point one. So I'll move this to the next one. And again, target management switch to the right, which will store it and save it as a SP. And again, and this moves me back to the first one and switches to offset aim point two. 
and I'll move it to the third one. It's P with target management switch to the right. And now if I press on this button, it will cycle between the three that I saved. So I potentially can drop a uh, bomb on this one, switch, drop on, th on this one, switch, and drop a bomb on this one and watch the glory. Offset aim points are also represented on the HUD by these triangles that you see right here. Lastly, there is target management switch up, which we haven't covered yet. EMS up puts you into a different kind of track mode, which is called point track. The main advantage of point track over area track that we've already seen is its ability to lock onto a moving target and keep following it. So all I have to do to use it is just find this moving BTR-80 right here, put the cursor slightly in front of it and press EMS up. As soon as it crosses, it will grab onto him and keep following him. I can make small adjustments if I want and it will just keep following him as long as there's nothing in the way hiding him. Awesome, and that's it. Now you can jump in and play around with this multi-million dollar camera system. Keep following this series as in the next videos we'll cover how to use the targeting pod to deploy weapons. As usual, if you need any further help, a link to my discord is in the description. See you next time and land safely.